everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 2 video. Today I am going to continue to try to make my way through Vault 15 and finally get a Gek. However, I am having a lot of trouble right now with getting through here. Um, I need to use that. I was wrong about the groin being an OP spot. The eyes are the OP spot. You know what, though? I might just use the knife and use vats with that two times in the eyes. I'm going to definitely switch up my strategy here this video as my, uh, I, I didn't really have a cohesive plan uh, going into last video and I don't like that. I'm going to thrust you into the eyes, hopefully. Into the eyes! Nope! Missed twice! With... What, a good chance to uh, hit? Yeah. Like the video title implied... Last video. The chance to hit... Was bogus. Darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. And I will stand by that very thing. I I will stand by that statement. I'm gonna try to swing. Get you in the eyes. So she got hit in the eyes, okay. And she runs up and guns me down! I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. You shall never know what happened to your kidnapped village. I just don't know what to do in that situation. I thought she would be blinded by a, a knife swing to the freaking eyes. But no, it, it just doesn't phase her. It just does not phase her. <laughs> what I need to do, I need to vet the crap out of her right arm so that she hopefully cannot shoot me. I'm going to switch between vatsing her in the eyes and vatsing her right arm so that she can't freaking shoot me. That is what I'm going to try this video. The right arm. There we go. Yes! Her right arm's crippled. Does that make a difference? Does that make any kind of difference? Well, she got... She didn't die. 
Okay, uh... I'm going to save right now. Uh, actually, I'm going to save it, uh... I believe I can easily go into the file explorer and look at my games and fall out to and delete a save if I want. Okay, so I'm going to do this. That's you. In the arm. Did that cripple your arm? But his right arm is not fully functional at this point. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. Oh god, I'm about to be shot. But he has tennis elbow. So does that miss? I was hit for 73 hit points. Jesus. That one, uh, stem pack is the only thing I have for healing. Uh. Oh, God. I wanted to cripple your right arm so badly. And I'm gonna die. I'm going to die now. I'm going to die now. Your village is lost. Doomed to die of starvation. Well, I feel like I made a little bit of progress that attempt. And that critically... Well, hitting that person in, uh, vats surely helped. What did that do? Okay, it just hit him for 12 hit points. So he's gonna be able to shoot his gun, no problem. Okay! Okay! I wish Sulik was smart enough to realize that there's somebody standing right behind him that I am trying to kill, and that the person on the ground can wait. It's like the person on the ground can wait, Sulik. But no, he does not realize that. And yes, it is a little bit frustrating. Because I know how good uh, Sulik can be. I'm gonna try thrusting into his right arm. Nope, didn't work. Did not work. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead now. <sighs> Practically any bullet would have killed me at this not point. Well, not just one, but... Your corpse. One turn would have killed me. 55 damage was the lowest I have taken, though, but... Granted. Uh, that was the second time that person has shot me like that, so... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try... No, swinging would be better. For an arm. 
hit my right arm. Missed. Okay. I am not sure if I'm going to die. No. 60 hit points, though. That's... Yeah, I'm not going to survive uh, another turn with them shooting at me. But what I can hopefully do... Oh, gosh. Well, I forgot... Yep, opening up the inventory takes four action points, I believe. What does annoy me a little bit is, as well is that they're not targeting Sulik. They're targeting me. Not even the carrion eaters are I don't know in your why. radiated corpse. I mean, I get it in the sense that if uh, if I die, I have to reload. If he dies, I don't have to reload necessarily. But video game antagonists don't think along those lines necessarily because they can't. But yeah, the fact that I got through her and I'm making a little bit of progress does make me happy. It is showing me that this is indeed uh, possible. It's just going to take me a while. Not a while, but could take me a little bit. Speaking of, that reminds me. Uh... Last Monday, so Memorial Day, uh, I got, I finally got Fallout 3 to work. Not only on the old computer, which I had it working before the uh, Games for Windows Live update, you or the update that removed Games for Windows Live requirement, uh, but I got it working on this computer. I was kind of concerned about that, even though I had it working on my old computer. Because, like I've said, for some reason, when I have my headset in my old computer, uh, my mic doesn't work in that computer. The headphones worked. As I played some Fallout 3 on it, uh, on Wednesday... And, uh, it worked. I was able to hear everything that I wanted to. What I don't get about that, though, is that, uh, Three Dog, despite the fact that you, uh, help him out quite a bit give him his voice back essentially with his radio show uh, I get that him commenting on what you do like with Brian Wilkes and Graydich uh, makes the world feel like you're a part of it as opposed to, well, no, actually, well, I, I like that, but it's like, he's like, you left Brian in a box. What the heck, 101? And I'm paraphrasing there, but it's like, man, I give you your voice back. Without me, you wouldn't have been able to do that. It's like, you are ungrateful, Three Dog. 
Your quest to find the Garden of Eden and return it to your village has failed. And by the way, the save from my old computer does not transfer over to the new computer. So, I can't play it on this computer. Well, with the save that I had before. I can play Fallout 3 on this computer. It would have to be with a fresh new character, though. Which won't be a problem when I finish this game, and I do move on to Fallout 3. But, uh... I can complete this game any time, and you wouldn't have to wait for me to fix Fallout 3 or have Bethesda, God forbid, Bethesda actually fix one of their games and have it work right. God forbid that be the case. But oh no, they're currently working on... Uh, the 15th anniversary, or the 11th anniversary of Skyrim. What's a new console, uh... Oh, yeah, I don't... Well, well, they have made Skyrim for the new consoles. They should go ahead and make Skyrim for the PS2. And all the other stuff, because, granted, they're working on, apparently working on Starfield, um, and that's going to come out later. It's like, just, just make your old games work. It just works. No, it doesn't, Todd. No, it does not. I had to go through and fix it myself. Thankfully, I do prefer this game over Fallout 3, so it's not a big deal. And I don't hate Fallout 3, but... Jesus Christ! People who aren't really tech-savvy, who uh, might buy the game and click play, go, Oh, I can't play it! Just... I'm good. I was never... I don't get mad, I just... I just get a bit worked up. Which I fully knew what I was saying in that situation, so it wasn't like a... Oh, I get mad. I get stupid. Even though that is the case. That wasn't me getting mad. This part is also kind of frustrating to uh, get through, so I'm kind of venting some frustration about this part as well. I'm going to have to reload after this turn. <laughs> yep, I'm dead. You shall never know who <sighs> kidnapped village. Cripple this guy's arm at all? It's like, please just let me cripple this guy's arm. It's like, that is all I want in life is to be able to cripple this guy's arm. 
right now. It's like, look, game. I won't need marriage. I won't need a wife. Well, both those things are kind of one and the same, but Your I won't is lost, doomed to die of starvation. But all I want is to be able to cripple that guy's arm. Right now, I don't want marriage. I don't want a great job. I don't want kids. All I would want at this point is to cripple this guy's freaking arm. But it seems like if, even if I hit this guy's arm, it doesn't cripple it. And I just shake my head. I can't see uh, how much damage I took. Yikes, that's 70. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so tempted to just bust out the shotgun. I don't understand how I miss this often. On a 36% chance in bats. Oh. I don't get it. The percentages to hit are a flat out lie. They are a flat out lie. Because, like I said last video, if you look at the percentages and you uh, equate them to uh, what they actually should be, okay, a hundred divided by three, is, or yes, a hundred divided by three is thirty-three and a third, okay, so. Given that 36 is just a lead, well, 36 and then it drops down to 33, but still, 33%, a third chance. So, out of three times where I try to hit this guy's arm, one of those times I should hit. The percentages actually worked. Uh, that life. But it has not been consistent. I need back to back. Uh, gets hit in the arm and does damage. Uh, on the uh, first turn, that is really what I need. Is back to back hits in the arm on the first on the first turn. Otherwise, I don't see a scenario where I can really pull it off. Okay, I hit that time. The first time. Which means this next turn I'll probably miss. I would not be surprised if I missed this next turn at all. Throughout the one attack I get, because I'll be using that to open up my inventory and take a frickin' stem pack. Although at this point, I'm kind of debating against uh, using the stem pack and allowing myself to have 
another turn or another opportunity with the knife, but given how I am and my luck, the one time I don't use the stem pack, I will actually really need it, and I will be put in a situation where I either heal and leave myself open to an attack or attack and potentially die, maybe die, I don't know. But I don't know. Uh, when I die here, that'll be the end of the video. So, I'll, I'll end the video here in a minute or so. Chosen one. Well, that'll do it for me today. And see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for this Fallout 2 video. And till next Fallout 2 video, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching. And